Lane. We're at UC East and we're here today for the rollout party of the new Bachelor of Applied Administration degree. This degree is offered both at UC Claremont and at UC Blue Ash. So there's a big party today to celebrate it and we're going to go inside and check out the action now. Come on with me. the proud dean of Claremont College with our dedicated faculty, staff, and achieving students. Thank you for joining us for what really is uh, a time to celebrate a historic occasion. Today we mark a milestone, the creation of our first homegrown technical bachelor's degree. This degree came about a joint effort working together with our sister school, UC Blue Ash. And we're all proud of this new initiative, and most importantly, for the opportunities that it offers our students. I'm so delighted to be here with you today. This is my first time to UC East, but not my first time with my colleagues from UC Claremont. On behalf of UC Blue Ash College, I'm so delighted to be here today to celebrate. And I have to tell you that we get the easy part as the newer deans. Um, we get to just be here to execute and celebrate with you. I know that so many of you in this room were here to build these programs for us to celebrate. And so for the faculty, we thank you for creating such a wonderful program that fills a need for the students, but also for the region's employers. We're excited about this program. And if I know you, I know that you're going to do well in this program and then you're going to graduate from this program and go back into the workforce and then recruit some more students for us because you are the very example of who we designed this program for. We say the power of UC close to home and I think it's all about uh, connecting uh, potential with an opportunity and that's what this program does. I'd also at this time like to acknowledge a special guest we have here and I'd like to give him a real Claremont County welcome to Dr. Santa Ono, our provost at the University of Cincinnati. I just want to say that it's really exciting for all of you to see what you have accomplished here. The launch of this program that's taken you many, many years uh, to put together is, is something, it's a point of pride for the entire university. And on behalf of the president, my uh, colleague Bob Ambach, the senior vice president for finance and administration, and all the other deans on Clifton campus, I wanted to say, how proud we are of all that you have done. Uh, what this facility uh, stands for, the importance of this facility's location next to a major artery, uh, is something that we know uh, is incredibly important for this region uh, and for the state. Uh, we uh, applaud both deans, uh, Greg Suega and Katie Short Thompson, for the energy, the determination, uh, the innovation that they have demonstrated during the project, and also all the work that all of you have as faculty administrators put into making sure that this launch is very successful. I think one of the reasons that we're most proud is for the opportunity this program provides to the students that are here, students from many, many other generations. I just want to say uh, that as provost of the university, uh, we have been, as a group of deans, I've been having a conversation over this past year about what will UC stand for, what will UC mean moving forward. We've been going through a, a series of what we call SWOT analyses uh, over the first half of the year, but it's going to culminate in a two-day retreat where we're really going to go into a room and think about new programs such as this one that will launch from this site and from uh, UC Blue Ash as well. Uh, this is the first joint regional college degree program offered by UC. We're proud of it. It is not going to be the last. And as you said, it's going to take much less time to launch the next one. Thank you so much for having me here. We're incredibly proud of you. And I'm really honored to be part of this program. I can tell you that students in this program are first class in many different ways. Uh, we have a student here today who will share her experience with us. But before I introduce Yolanda, 
I want to tell you something else about these students. They came together earlier this day following a class presentation that I think Meredith Delaney made to them about alumni engagement and fundraising for the college. And they created a legacy scholarship. The students donated more than $600 to initiate the Bachelors of Technical and Applied Studies Legacy Scholarship as a way to give back to UC Claremont and pay forward for future students who will follow in their footsteps. And we understand through the UC Foundation that this is groundbreaking. Their motto, and this is a great class motto, there will never be another first time right? <laughs> to celebrate the first class of BTAS cohort and leave this legacy to students who are continuing. Usually I tell students when they graduate, you learn, then you earn, and then you return. These students put together learning and returning at the same time. Isn't that an amazing group of students? Thank you so much, students. You. Now I'd like to introduce you to one of these students, Yolanda Spradling Hughes, to share a student perspective on the program. As a parent working full time, it has been a dream of mine to return to school and complete my bachelor's degree. And now, thanks to the collaboration of faculty, staff, and deans from two regional colleges, Claremont and Blue Ash, I am able to realize that dream. This innovative and creative 2 plus 2 program allows me to build on my existing technical associates with only two additional years without loss of credit, despite being a transfer student. Upon completing my bachelor's degree, I will be able to open doors would have otherwise remained closed to promotion and new positions. This program provides me and my fellow students a pathway to transformation, one that instills us with confidence, shapes us into leaders, and teaches us the necessary skills for our future endeavors and a big bright future. Tonight we are here to celebrate our first homegrown bachelor's degree and the first fully funded student scholarship at UC Claremont in over 40 years, the BTAS Legacy Scholarship Fund. This is a proud legacy that my fellow students and I will share for the rest of our lives. 